something I want to challenge myself as an athlete, as an endurance cyclist. Just when you think you're at your absolute limit, you learn a lot about yourself. These guys are just so pushed to the limit. Go, go, go! It's a 3,000 mile plus race. Racing through 12 states, we hit about every obstacle imaginable. It took it from being a ride to truly being a race. As we were getting ready for the event to start, we're still thinking, where's our competition? Our strategy was to go hard a little bit longer early on. Sweet, Jer. He's getting after it. That was awesome, bud. My heart rate shot up about 20, 15 minutes ago, and I couldn't get it back down. But these guys just don't need to be expending this much energy with this kind of heat. Even coming down 40, 45, 50 miles an hour, if that tire blows, you could be dead. I'm cruising along, I think, 23 or 24 miles an hour for four hours. He's gonna need some, some serious rest. And I just pull up next to him, like, are you okay? And I thought, am I supposed to be doing this? Let's go, baby! We got a flat tire. It's uh, relentless. Man, there's just some bad places in this race. We just gotta get him at the right time. We'll get him. A broken collarbone, four broken ribs, a concussion, laceration. I thought, there is no way this guy will be ready to go in six weeks. Going down that hill against the rain, I was blinded for about 10 seconds. I honestly did not know where I was going. God, you've got you to help me here. There's something about cycling for me it makes me feel alive again. Is to shut it down altogether for a couple no, of hours. No, for sure not. I want to do something challenging, something I've never done before. You learn a lot about yourself out there at the end of your rope. That was the best 30 mile ride I've ever had in my life. Didn't, things didn't happen the way I wanted them to happen, but they definitely turned out the way God wanted them to happen.